Geographer Waldo Tobler came up with the first law of geography. Everything is related, but near things are more related than distant things. This relates to distance decay, and this is part two. You have to really think about things that are closer to a place are more related than things further from a place. This is something that must be understood in the realm of spatial analysis because it's about space. You're analyzing the things in a geographic space. And then you have to think about spatial interactions. This is just one example of this. Human migration. Generally, spatial interactions, you know, human migration being a spatial interaction, transportation being a type of spatial interaction. Spatial interactions are generally, more of them take place over a shorter distance than over longer distances. The longer the distance of a migration, the the less of those migrations that takes place the number of migrations taking place as the distance increases the number of those migrations decrease or decays and so that is how you have distance decay basically waldo tobler was trying to say that distance is what makes certain interactions between places harder now we're going to go to another example of how this can be put in a very practical way. Spatial analysis. This is John Snow's map of the cholera epidemic that took place in London's Soho district. The dots represent the clustering of cholera cases. The cholera cases are heavily concentrated around the Broad Street pump. The pump is located towards the center of this map. As this data is being analyzed, this is where you see distance decay. The greater the distance away from the Broad Street pump, the fewer the cases of cholera. This is one example of how distance decay can be applied to spatial analysis and how Tobler's Law of Geography comes into play. If you like this video, check out other videos on my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment on this video, like, and subscribe.